So I want to touch base one more time on the layout of this particular reason rack. Again, the important device in this case to start with is the hardware device up here at the top. I'll open that up. I'll hit the tab button, reverse to the back. You can see I've got my connection with my different cables going in. Inputs one and two correspond over here to live seven coming from the redrum into inputs one and two on the hardware device. And again, those correspond to the external instrument device on track one, which I've labeled redrum to my audio from section in the external instrument device of one, two, which is great. Let's go back to our reason rack again. Inputs one and two on the hardware device and reason audio from in my external instrument device one and two and on down the line three four five six seven eight etc all right so we've got everything set up we've got our different devices it's time for some sound so let's go ahead and check it out go back over here to ableton we'll arm track one got some sounds there let's bounce over here to thor patch there and Thor a wonderful analog style synthesizer instrument inside reason let's go over here to combinator the classic guitar sound we've got a couple of more set up here I've also if I go over here to my live browser I'll open up and you can see we're looking at our desktop folders here I've actually got a couple of MIDI files here I've got one for combinator let's go ahead and drag that into Clip slot number one on the Combinator track. We'll take Maelstrom. Here we go. You see, I've already got these sort of preset. Kind of speed things up here. This is playing the default MIDI file sounds on the computer as I browse them and audition them in the browser folder. Redrum. Here we go. Again, clip slot number one on the Redrum track. And last but not least, the Mighty Thor on track two. So let's go ahead and play the Redrum clip. Over here to Combinator, we'll fire this clip off. We bring back in the Thor on track two, launch this clip. You can see, if I turn the metronome on, everything is locked into the click. So I've also got my global quantize up here set to one bar make things really easy to launch. We'll go over here and launch Maelstrom. Comes in on the downbeat. Maybe I want to duplicate that clip. Go ahead and duplicate the redrum clip. We can also do that under our edit menu. And I can go to scene number two on the far right and launch a brand new scene just containing the Maelstrom track. Redrum. Combinator back in. Go over and launch the NN19. Maybe we want to drag that down to its own clip slot. Fire that off as a third scene. Back to the first scene. We'll check out the reason rack, see what's going on here. See the different instruments within the Reason Rack are being played, all tied in once again with a hardware device. Routed through Rewire back to Ableton Live, all through the external instrument device on each track. And there you have it a great creative way to work with Rewire using Reason 4 and Ableton Live 7. <laughs>